last episode got us more details on the plot of Index. So, the Magic Cabal that's after Index for the 103,000 Grimoire, it doesn't really exist, but I think it still does. Because, like, she thought that Kanzaki and Stere were the Magic Cabal, but it turns out they're just in a church and they're literally doing annual memory allocation so that Index just doesn't die. 85% is the Grimoire, 15% is the day-to-day -day memories, and the three days have been up. They've shown us at the front door and they're gonna take Index away and get the memories out. Now, if there's only, like, is there no possible way that we can tell Index that, hey, you have an annual update? It just seems kind of convenient how, of all the memory allocation, we still have some room uh, when, in that 15%. Well, we can't just like let Index know that annually there's a refresh. I don't know, but maybe there's like an intention for that. And Toma, could his right hand alleviate the memory problem? I'm not really sure because if she gets wiped right now, it's going to be kind of sad because all the stuff that we've done up till now, I know it's only been like four episodes. Still sad though. Let's begin today's reaction. Limit. 12 o'clock. Bye, Sensei. Sensei, you're so cute. Where are you going? It sounds like going to go buy some cigarettes. What's she doing? Peak filler animation of Sensei going down the stairs. Time has passed. And now, Kanzaki. Stay there. Sensei still buying cigarettes? Oh wait, this is after that and they left? 12 hours. <laughs> we had three days before. Three days has passed. But technically, we still have 24 hours within that third day. Right? And now we have like 12 hours or something right now. Okay, we still have time. Okay. Shackles. Toy? Is that Toma? Do you want your toy taken away? There's temporary truce. No index. No index. Yo, Johan's pen, come out. What should we do? This is the future, bro. This is modern technology. Academy City, the pinnacle of modern civilization. It's still fucking using... <laughs> Brother, come on, man. Yeah, maybe Sensei is just poor. Sensei is just poor. <laughs> right? Because right over here, right? Kanzaki's phone. What does she do? What does she have? She got a fucking Nokia flip phone, bro. Maybe Kanzaki also fucking poor. No, none of these people can afford iPhones. So, what's your mage name? Still haven't told us. Limit tonight at midnight. That's what the title was. Index's memory limit. Yo, what is the skeleton? Is that a neck? Is that an earring? What the hell is this, bro? It's spooky. And I never realized until I mean I saw it last episode, but I was too busy by everything else. She does have, like, this shin guard for the left leg, even though the left leg, the jeans are just all ripped apart. What is this shin guard? This cool design? Hmm. Time for closure. Ooh. No. Yeah, increased memory storage. Back up, bro. Cloud storage. Slanted. Go back? Wait, wait, wait. This is really important. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The, ch the church is afraid of index turning on them, but... I don't know what slanted means. Because if we learn the magic that deals with manipulating memories, then she could then turn on the church. It almost feels like this whole system of memory allocation, the annual reset, is very intentional to keep Index kind of at bay so she doesn't turn on the church. Hmm. I feel like we should figure out those memory manipulating grimoires, bro. Yeah, we should read them. That's her cell phone accessory. Got it. 
One more time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Church did what? Sorcerers outside of Necessarius to dispel them. Dispel them. Defilement. Index got defiled. Yeah? Maybe there's something we can do with science. Because remember, this is a world of magic and science. Fuck these phony ass magicians, bro. What can science do to solve index? I told you every time. Just fucking get one of these. P plug index back, bro. Just. Index. Index. Back up memory. Download the grimoires here. Offload the grimoires here. Just come on. C Jesus Christ. We're in Academy City. Can we not just do that? Can we not just do that? Mm. Science. Yeah? There's conveniently someone that can do that? Hmm. Who could save us? I want Accelerator to save us. He still hasn't shown up in the season yet. Where is the true main protagonist, bro? Where is the Giga Chat Accelerator yet? You know, is Misaka gonna do something? She gonna fucking railgun index? That ain't gonna help. Yeah. Then prove her wrong. I feel like Kanzaki right now wants to believe, but it's not enough. So Toma needs to prove. Deep inside, my head canon is Kanzaki wants Toma to save her. Same with Stata. Both Stata and Kanzaki wants Toma to save her. Right hand. Oh. My arc enemy. See you tonight. I think she wants us to figure it out deep inside, man. She doesn't want any of this. Toma, what you gonna do, bro? Hmm? Book? Sensei's book? Memory lost. Or alcohol. There's a random just book about memory loss in Sensei's room? Paper fell out. Dokono. What the fuck? Okay. Like, what, what the fuck is happening? He just figured out. It, basically, that shit didn't matter. He looked at the book. Cell phone receipt. I was like, oh wait, Komoi Sensei can just refer me to like a neurologist. Like some kind of like brain scientist here. Oh, she's in the bath. <laughs> she's so cute too. We're just gonna call random hospitals? Man, we're fucked. This, I, it's probably gonna work out, but this is crazy. He's like, shit, what am I gonna do? Random book, memory loss. But shit, nothing's happening. Paper fell out. Oh, stuff on receipt. Sensei. Let's, let's call up different scientists. Oh, shit, this is gonna work. Sensei, where are you? Let's call up hospitals. Yep, let's call up every fucking hospital in the city. Yeah, back in the day, like, dude, this is some boomer shit, bro. Catalogs. People's fucking like names and addresses and different phone lines and businesses in a fucking like a dictionary catalog, bro. This is the true index. Holy shit, we're living in the dinosaur ages. Who won't pick up? The only scientist that I can think of at this moment is that lolly girl that looks like Misaka from the opening. You know, in the opening, it seems like Accelerator and that Misaka lolly girl seems very close and she seems to be like the one that's creating those like clones right so i feel like she gonna clutch or maybe not maybe she doesn't even show up this season one last call who is it nope it's not her at all yeah, you're lucky that someone was actually working this late and picked up your call at midnight and now you're talking about some magic bullshit? <laughs> you mean magic? Because like a magic is a big secret society, right? Like, no one kind of knows about this. It's just science world here. 
We're running out of time. I feel bad. I feel bad for the girl that picked up the phone, bro. Alright, here we go. Kanzaki. Index, no! The memories! Index. They're coming. You know their asses has been setting up rune charms outside of Sensei's place for the last hour. Both Teire and Kanzaki, they have a bunch of those sticky notepads. They're just everywhere, bro. Fucking magicians in their prep time. Uh oh. They're coming. Toma, you're the main character. Figure it out. What are you gonna do? Run away? Damn, you don't even lock the door? <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. You don't have to push him like that. <laughs> I know they care about Index, but is this the only solution? Oh, they're doing that thing again. Calm the angel. $1.8 million. But we're running out of time. Shit, if only we had like 12 fucking extra hours before this episode started. We did have 12 hours. What the fuck did we do, bro? We didn't do shit. We have so much time, and we just all fucking wasted. And now we bring this shit up at midnight. I think so too, though. Yeah. Oh, he is yapping. He is fucking yapping. I'm looking. They are right. She's just suffering, bro. She is just like if this is before she was suffering, I'd be down. But right now, it's kind of unreasonable. Like everyone's sleeping. What the fuck are you gonna do? We're we're literally running out of time. True. Damn, we're the monsters abandoning humanity, bro. We're so stuck up in our own idealistic delusions. That maybe were the monsters. And beyond that analogy, right? Do you think that Toma is not a regular human? Of course he's not. He's got this fucking power. What is he? What is the power? Science and magic? Neither? Right hand of the devil that I call it? What is it, bro? Magical adornment. Okay. Then do it. <laughs> We should do it. <laughs> he should double down. <laughs> he, he should fucking double down right now. And start yapping. Yeah, I'll figure out a solution. Fuck you. Uh. Cancel it. Cancel it, bro. Uh -oh. Mutant. I feel like Stata is provoking him because he wants this to happen. Power of Leo. Alright, we're creating a temple. We're gonna bring down an angel. He can't even hear you. We're the monster, bro. That's absolutely true. We can't be here. Right? The healing magic wouldn't happen because his mere presence literally cancelled it out. Toma cannot be in the same room when we're calling down the angel. And he's really taking it out on himself. Maybe if we had his backstory, we'd understand why he's like this. Like, beyond just... Like, I don't know how well-written Toma is, but... For him to go out of this way, like from the beginning, he's always just like self-inserted himself into Index's problems and felt bad about not being able to save a single girl and uses that as like a main talking point and why he moves forward and fights for Index. But like, if there is a backstory that kind of like portrays why he's like this, then for sure, then that's better, right? Like in ReZero, why the fuck is Super reacting this way in Season 1? All the time, people are like, what the fuck? This kid's just cringe and stupid. You learn in season two. Oh, I see. So similarly here, maybe it's not just a random fucking protagonist saying some protagonist shit. There's some deep-rooted issues without being able to save somebody. Mm -hmm. 
But now you become so hardened. Kanzaki is a softy. Hmm. He hesitated. Mutant. Monster. Steel. What you gonna do, man? You know what's even more fucked up? Yo, Sensei's place is already such a fucking worn down shit. How are you gonna vandalize her walls? This is fucked up. Poor Sensei. People just show up whenever they want. Shoes on entirely, too. They just treat this place like a fucking slop. I feel bad for Sensei. The star he's drawing is looks pretty cool, though. <gasps> Index! <gasps> Were you faking it? Is the, the moment stay and Kansaki leaves. <laughs> Toma! What the fuck? Hey, nice timing. Index. Yeah. Kind of. Kanzaki stated. Yeah, we do have to get out of here so that the fucking magic doesn't get cancelled out by Toma's existence. Are we literally just gonna do a reset? Well, like, this is gonna be, like, the first big lesson for Toma in the show. And he'll have to take this cell and Index will lose memories. And this will be, like, a grim reminder for him to get serious and move, like, get stronger. There's no way out of this. How about now? Next time is now! Yesterday, you said tomorrow! Just do it! Index doesn't deserve this. Hmm? What, what, what? Mm-hmm. What are you cooking? What? What did you realize? What, 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 what? I don't know. I never questioned the percentage value. That 15% was reasonable for the annual memories because compared to the amount of grammar text, it is scaling proportionately. What do you mean? I never questioned that because I thought it was just a rule that the church told us. Are we now supposed to believe that this is all bullshit? Like, this is all just fucking bullshit? These numbers... Made up? Hmm? Sensei! Sensei, what you doing? Sensei's in the massage chair. Sensei, you got no clue. We called up so many hospitals, we even prank called them. I think your house might be blacklisted from that hospital now. I'm sorry, Sensei. Well, it's the thing. Memory isn't the fixed thing. You only retain the important shit and a lot of stuff just kind of gets filtered out, right? You constantly, it's a cycle of receiving new information and filtering out the unnecessary ones and keeping the one you want. And even then, it's not like these memory storages are perfect, right? It's like these vague abstract little points. You have little leeways to how a memory could form and then you kind of store it and then you think of like a one specific moment that happened in the past and it's like oh yeah i remember that then you then further build upon that right it's just this continuous loop of memory going in memory going out retaining what you want stuff like that assuming right assuming that we just continue this 140 years of memories so one year 15%, 140, this is unreasonable. What the fuck is happening? They fucking lied to us? The church has lied to us. What Index is feeling right now is not a result of her memory being overloaded. We're literally being gaslit for them to be able to clear out Index's memories to keep Index at bay. That's it. And now, maybe there's some sort of like divine miracle. There Maybe there's some sort of magic bullshit that's been placed on Index to feel this way in every annual, you know, um, iterations. And Toma, if that's the case, can cancel out whatever is happening, then Index can live with us freely. Damn, Sensei. 
This straight up looks like a fucking university course to this PowerPoint presentation, bro. It's just a straight up a lecture right now Sensei is giving us. We have uh, semantic memories and there's procedural memories. Episodic. Wow, Sensei. Sensei. Three categories. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. We've been gaslit. Take run run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're being gaslit. That's the most interesting part. The suffering must be some sort of spell that the magic, you know, church has put on them to activate in like yearly cycles. And maybe Toma can get rid of that. Maybe it's a curse, man. Can we like dispel it? うん。インデックスを使わなければならないように。Dude, when they realize this, when Kanzaki and Stated also realizes they've been gaslit and that all their memories with Index has been erased and they themselves had to do it, we're gonna turn on the church, right? Like, imagine how fucking angry they're gonna be when they realize that all the things they've been doing, it never had to be done. Noka. What are we gonna do? Just grab Index's head and just like massage it? And then hope that like it'll cancel out the church spell curse if it exists. I'll be the hero. Yeah. I swear to God, bro. If there's a crest on her fucking womb, and it's not her head that we have to touch, but down there. I swear to fucking God, it's not gonna go that direction, right? Is it working? Oh no. Oh no, it's not the head. Where is it? <laughs> it's not the head. Where is it? Is it down below? No. No. Bro, come on. Her lips? Her lips? Four. In her mouth? Where did that number come from? Oh. This is not as bad as I thought, but the animation here is making it look really sus. Four. Oh, he got repelled. Oh, he got repelled. It's in her mouth. <gasps> Yo, it's already happening. I thought that this shit's like super important in like future seasons because in the openings we see Index with this look in her eyes and I'm like, oh shit, it looks like Index is going berserk, but it happens as early as season one. <laughs> Johan Penn. Johan. Rupture to what? Hold up. Rupture in all berries from first to third detected. I mean, in the, when we were fishing for this, I saw number four. So I'm going to assume that there is four barriers. I don't know. And then the first to third was rupture, deleted, right? And then the fourth one is remaining. And that's why he was kind of like repelled at the end there. Damn, let's go. How strong is Index in this form? Yeah. Did she just try to figure out what was the magic that ruptured the one to three barrier? Toma's right hand of the devil that I call failure. Because it's not magic, right? 103,000 Grimoire. Like, it has every magic known, right? Well, maybe this is a magic that's never been known. But this is a pretty interesting data point where it does not exist in Rindex's Grimoire. <laughs> What is it? How do you counter him effectively? St. George mentioned. Stay there, Kanzaki, like help us! They're just watching. Mm. I mean, we should be able to counter anything, but it's scary that, like, she figured out what kind of attack it was and just, like, formulated the most effective way to counter Toma's right hand. She looks really cool right now, though. And. 
poor sensei's room. Poor sensei's room is about to just get trashed again. And that's another episode of Index and more plot twists. I'm noticing a pattern of behavior here where basically if I assume what the show has told me is the fact, a truth, that I'm fucked. Magic Cabal? Bullshit. Memory percent storage? Bullshit. <laughs> How many more lies have I been fed? How many more lies have I been fed with this show? Every time they tell me something, I'm like, yup, okay, taking notes, taking notes, and they say, <laughs> actually, I'm like, fuck you. Why am I even fucking paying attention? <laughs> okay, so what's happening? Index's memory issue? It's not a memory issue. It's a church issue. The church is afraid of Index turning against them. To the point where even memory manipulation grimoire magic is prevented, right? They also place some sort of curse, some sort of spell on Index so that she would feel this pain, this suffering in annual iterations. And Stade and Kanzaki has been forced to carry out this mission of erasing their beloved friend's memories every year. But it's all bullshit now. And once they realize this, I'm sure they will counter, you know, a counter attack against the church with us. Hopefully they'll join our side. Toma figured this shit out really well. Giga brain? Super fucking smart? Like, damn, he was looking at like a... Well, at the end of the day, it's... it's it, 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 it had to do with like a speculation of like, hmm, memory percentage. Why is it those specific values? Then he kind of double confirmed with Sensei. But like, yeah, Sensei is like, actually, it's pretty much impossible for a human. Even if you have the total memory whatever activation shit, 140 years worth of data would still be proficient, right? They're fucking lying to us. The church, as usual, are evil. And Index is right now in Johan's pen mode, autopilot. Just even further beyond that. Maybe it's not even Johan's pen. Her eyes, I see circles and I see like a, a triangle here. And she's basically in Terminator mode. Terminator, delete the threat, delete the threat. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. We're all gonna team up after this arc and everything will be happy. And Sensei's place, part of me hopes that Sensei's place will get trashed, but like we'll have enough money for Sensei to buy like a nicer apartment. Because it kind of hurts me to see Sensei just living in this worn down shack. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.